Hi guys, this is Adrienne from Nursing Uncensored, and today we're going to talk about the EchoCore Attachment Stethoscope Amplifier. This is an unsponsored video, and the opinions expressed are mine alone after using this device on the job for a few weeks. I'm going to talk about the installation of the device, the weight, the on-off switch, volume control, charging port, as well as just the overall functionality of the device. Installation was easy. I just removed the head and then attached the echo to the tubing. Then I used the attachment piece to put the head back on. I've installed mine so that when the diaphragm is flat, the button moves from left to right. It's easy to click on and off, but it's not so easy that you're gonna accidentally turn it on when you don't mean to. I also like that when the diaphragm is flat, the volume controls are then on the top for easy access. The blinking light changes from blue to green when you're adjusting the volume, as well as you can feel the click. Much like any device with a volume control, you don't just want to crank it all the way up. About mid-level, I seem to get the clearest, most desirable sound. Also, you want to make sure that you're not listening over clothing. You're going to get a lot of feedback, rustling of the fabric. If you're directly against the skin, you get a nice, clean, amplified sound. Now, as far as the weight goes, I don't really find it to be a problem. It does add a little weight. That doesn't bother me. But what does bother me is as the shift goes on, it does this. And this is not where you want people to be looking during your shift. It's annoying, but it's not a deal breaker for me. This device works so well, I'm willing to overlook that. Now, don't forget, we also have the Echo app. Turn on your device, hit connect device, or it'll automatically pair. I've got a little static as I first turned it on, but then, even though this isn't an EKG, this is a nice waveform, so you can hear their heartbeat. You see down in the bottom right, it gives me a heart rate. I'm gonna take some breaths here. Obviously, I didn't record this live, um, but you can see my breath pattern, and I can record as well. So I don't have the capability to record this and play it back for you. For some reason, it's playing really softly on the recording, even though it's coming through loud and clear in my ears but the ability to record to send this to other practitioners through a HIPAA compliant system is really great. I am not going to be using it for that purpose, um, even though I can save this information to a patient profile, send it off to someone else if I need to, but in my work I don't do that. There's really nothing fancy about the charging port. You pull out the little rubber stopper and it's the same, I don't know what this is called, but it's the same kind of charger that all my Android devices use. Overall, I love the Echo Core attachment. I think it's worth every penny of the current $200 price tag that it sports. This can go on any single lumen stethoscope and honestly, if you are having a hard time hearing anything, this will take that problem away. All right, guys, that is it for this unsponsored review of the Echo Core attachment. I am Adrienne with Nursing Uncensored. I hope that if you haven't already, that you will go ahead and subscribe to the podcast. Go over to nursinguncensored.com, check out other content, blog, video, other episodes, and more. Thanks for listening, and happy nursing.